In this video, I will be talking about anchor bolt location for this particular design of the home. Don't forget there is a playlist. It will be located at the end of the video for other videos. If um, you're interested in watching to see how this is built, I'm going to take a home like this and kind of see if I can build it or give you a better idea about what it looks like and what's involved in uh, building it and all of the components. Won't be actually hand building it, but we'll be providing you with a, some info. So anchor bolts are used to connect the bottom framing plate to the building foundation and are usually shaped like an L. And the engineer usually calls out for the length of them in a minimum embedment. He might, uh, the engineer might say, we want a seven inch minimum embedment and then you'll have to figure out what that is. You might need a 10 inch bolt. You might need a 12 inch bolt. And for those of you who are going to be building and uh, you're thinking you might need a 12 inch bolt, get a 14 inch bolt. Um, just save yourself some stress there. I've seen people go in and put uh, use bolts that are just barely big enough. And then all of a sudden the engineer draws in a three by four plate or um, something that creates a problem for the minimum embedment. Don't uh, get uh, caught with that. So you will also have anchor bolts located at the framing brakes wherever there is a break. The end of the board. The end of the board is right here for this. The end of the board is right here for this board. You will need an anchor bolt within 12 inches. 12 inches away from the brake, you will need an anchor bolt located. Just a general rule of thumb, unless it's noted otherwise on your plans. Um, this right here is the sliding glass door entry. You can see here we got a little bit of a space here. Of course, we got a big space over here too. Take a look at what it would look like. Again, from the end of the board within 12 inches, end of the board within 12 inches, same thing at the corner here. Another corner framing. And here we have a couple of bolts to close together. So what do we think it's going to be? Exactly. We're going to have a break there for the framing. Now, I kind of wanted to point this out. I know it can get confusing when building a home. You're going to think, uh, oh, maybe I need anchor bolts within 12 inches of every intersection. And no, that wouldn't be the case. Here's a bolt here, and then within six feet is this one here. Continuous board would have a anchor bolt, again, 12 inches away from the brake, and then six foot would be the maximum spacing. You would not need an anchor bolt over here because the wall intersects into the other wall here. Now, you would need it if there was a brake here in the framing and the bottom plate. Another corner of the garage. This, of course, is a raised foundation here or a raised uh, stem wall. Take a look at the framing. Break into board within 12 inches from each side. Shoot over to the other side. Now, here's the front door. And, of course, this is the garage door. Front door. And here's another door going into the laundry room. So now when I did this video, I've already drew everything, you know, and the anchor bolts. I'll tell you what, you'd better double check these measurements if you are going to build your own house or build anything with anchor bolts. I cannot tell you how many times I have came to a front door and there's an anchor bolt right there. Why? Because the concrete person just simply put one every six foot and that was the end of that. And, of course, you can't do that now. A lot of building inspectors want to see the anchor bolts placed um, when you're, they want to be attached to the forms. They want to see where they're going to be located. And, of course, that helps the framer. I've actually went to projects where we were going to be doing the framing, and I went and marked out where all the anchor bolts would go um, just because to reduce the stress of, you know, or the problems encountered by us in the future and it's kind of a pain in the butt let's go back to the break here see where we're at on the break if you could just imagine a just a concrete guy just putting one here one here at six foot 
one hair at six foot and going on and on and missing this one. And if that's the case, now we got to come in and drill this and, and epoxy it. Well, who's going to do that? Probably the framer is going to have to do that. And then who's going to pay for that? The owner? Hopefully, you know, but these are the problems you want to avoid. And of course, um, I will quit rambling on in this video. I've rambled on enough. The problems are you're going to avoid are going to be by the information you have some of that from watching these videos and um, if not you will learn the hard way I guarantee that so anyway thanks for watching and it is off to the next video